Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Hi Calvary, I'm Amber and this is my husband Robert. And for those of you who don't know, we've been married 14 years. And today we get to talk to you guys about marriage from a biblical perspective. So we are going to be looking at Colossians 3 uh, in verse 18 and 19. And it says, Wives, submit to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, love your wives and do not be harsh with them. So for the next two days, we're going to talk about this. Today, we're going to mainly talk about wives, and tomorrow, we're going to talk about husbands. Okay. So uh, talking with wives, it says, wives submit to your husbands as is fitting in the Lord. I just want to start off by clarifying that this does not say women submit to men. Um, that's actually not in scripture. Um, so it's wives submit to your own husbands. And so that is what we are talking about here. Um, and so a lot of women have tension with this um, because naturally as sinners, we don't want to submit to anyone. We wanna do what we wanna do. And so understanding this, we really have to first recognize that we are submitting to God and submitting to his authority of how he has designed families to work. So God has set it up for the husband to be the leader of the family. Um, and so for us women, um, we submit to husbands um, because we are being obedient to Christ and what he's called us to do. And if you go back to verse 17, it says, whatever you do in word and deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus. You can think about that in submitting as well of I'm doing this because I'm doing it uh, for Christ and to honor him and glorify him with our life. The other important thing is that it's submitting uh, as fitting to the Lord. So there are times when husbands abuse this um, and can try and have wives do things that are not in alignment with God's word and scripture. And so if at any point there is a time when a husband is trying to ask his wife to do something immoral or illegal or unethical, um, that does not align with scripture. And so God is the ultimate authority. And so you have to uh, submit to God before anything and everyone else. Um, but this submission is out of following Christ um, and loving him. And so what does this look like for husbands? Yeah, you know, I think it's interesting to note here the, the dynamic that this should have in a household. So here and in Ephesians 5, wives are told to submit to their husbands and husbands are called to love their wives. And we'll get more into this tomorrow for you guys that are watching, please come back tomorrow to get the other half of this. Uh, but the dynamic here isn't one where this is to be called upon. The, the husbands, you don't have the ability to be like, woman, you're to submit to me. Like that, that is not how this works. Uh, instead, husbands are to love their wives. And it says here not to be harsh with them, but to be building an environment and a culture uh, it, within their relationship of trust and, and safety to where the goal is that the wife wants to submit and to follow the husband's leadership. Because again, as it's fitting to the Lord, as Amber pointed out here, that's the design here. And really what this goes back to is saying, hey, are you going to trust and follow the design and ordering of, of God for the household? That God has designed a household to be led by the husband, the father, if that's the case, and for the woman to surrender and follow his leadership. But that can only happen well if the husband is following God's plan for how to do that. Not in a domineering way, not in a harsh way or a controlling way, but in a way of love and surrender and, and, and sacrifice uh, that invites that uh, submission from the wife. Yeah, um, and so this, this idea is very radical in our day and in this day uh, when it was written as well um, because in the Roman time, women were supposed to just be obedient to whatever the men said. Uh, and so I want you to know that this is radical for our day and any day that it was written. But the ultimate thing is that women, um, I pray that you would choose to submit every area of your life to Jesus and follow him, submitting all your ideas and wants and desires to what God has for you and, and loving him in the process. Have a great day.